A new list of documents has come to light specifying the use of ELF towers as death towers. Quote, In a psychotronic war using microwave ELF towers, it would no longer be necessary to kill whole armies by transmitting signals that induce cardiac arrest. The enemy can be simply incapacitated by manipulating their ability to think logically. This means they have the technology to pump death waves through the death tower network and induce cardiac arrest. The document goes on to say, the manipulation of human beings by means of ELF waves is relatively easy to perform. Governments would have to overcome no insurmountable difficulties to modulate carrier frequencies with ELF signals in existing centimeter radio relay links, i.e. death towers and other transmission towers. Quote, the technology could then manipulate the nation's ability to make decisions in confusing political situations or even disable undesirable activities, end quote. They can manipulate the thoughts of an entire nation via AI-enabled threat fusion centers, ladies and gentlemen, and they can do it in real time. The document ends by saying, entire nations can be gradually subjugated physically by means of long-term radiation exposure using ELF-modulated centimeter waves via the cell phone tower network. Boom, bitches, boom. These death towers are much worse than we think they are. And they don't have to cook you like a microwave oven to do you in. They can just modulate the frequency to interrupt biological functions and that's it. And that's a public document and it's in black and white. In another document titled From PSYOPs to Mind Wars, it reads, Psychotronic research is still in its infancy, but the U.S. already possesses an operational weapons system designed to use synthetic ESP. That is to say, reading thoughts and broadcasting thoughts. Double boom, bitches. It brings new meaning to the terms The Matrix and The Manchurian Candidate. ELF waves can influence brain activity, induce various wave patterns, and endure for long distances and can be used through various technology platforms including TV and CPU monitors and wireless devices. That means your TV can flicker you into a trance, turn you into a sheeple, while your hotspot or cell phone can be used to read your mind. Moving on, in the document titled The Mind Has No Firewall, other silent weapons make their appearance. Here they talk about psychotronic generators which produce powerful electromagnetic waves capable of being sent through telephone lines, televisions, radio networks, supply pipes, and even light bulbs to induce pain, heart attack, and can be integrated into the synthetic ESP network. They've built a death tower network all around us, ladies and gentlemen, set up for psychotronic psychotronic warfare for psychotronic terrorism and the best part about it is there's no evidence left behind at the crime scene it's the perfect crime you might say and these death towers are everywhere this technology is everywhere they can read your thoughts manipulate your mind and cause a heart attack at any time terrorists could hack the network and fry entire communities while post-humanists will wait and use this network once terminators come online they'll flip the switch Switch and use Skynet to mop up the survivors. This technology deserves a national conversation. So share this video and be sure to check out our live broadcasts on these subjects. Details will be in the description. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.